Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new around here. Today, we have a slightly different video. Um, Nolly playing some ones, he's actually not moving though, so Partos has kindly not taken the kickoff here. And actually given Nolly the ball as well, that's very kind. Nolly's going to give the ball back though, um, and probably rightly so, because he wasn't ready for this game. I'm just going to adjust my mic. Do apologise. Um, Nolly here, in a 1v1 setting, not really something you see too often, against a really high calibre player in... Uh, Zapatos here on the other team. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because I think, I feel like Nolly... Right, there's a conversation going around that I've heard a few times, and it's basically what players are good across the board, what players are good at ones, twos, and threes, right? Now, the obvious one, for me at least, that comes to the comes to mind straight away is, is Apjack, um, currently. He's at the peak of every single one of those, and that's a good challenge, and a good first goal for Nolly here. But I feel like Nolly... Although not as good as apparently Jack in ones, of course, I feel like he is in for a shout for one of those players that's good at every game mode because not many people associate ones with Nolly. But when I've seen Nolly play one v one, he's actually really solid, like genuinely really really solid ones player. That's a good double reset from Zapatos, though. It's going to take something special to save that. Don't think Nolly was expecting that one. And but yeah, he's genuinely extremely impressive in ones. He um he doesn't necessarily need to deal with these double and triple flip resets, does Nolly? But he's also, he's, he's very smart. That's unfortunately not his second goal there. That was a bit of a weak shot. It was a good first touch, a good idea uh, to poke the ball around Zapatos. But yeah, not getting that, that uh, shot off. Zapatos going for another double reset, not quite connecting. But Nolly here has a wide open net. Absolutely skies his shot. What is that? Um, oh, and he doesn't get the rebound either. Zapatos does get back in time. Um, that's a good cut though from Nolly. That's like flakes s cut. And I think he's going to get himself his second goal. Yes, he is. There we go. Three minutes and 33 remaining on the clock. Nolly goes 2-1 up in this game and as I was saying I don't think Nolly necessarily needs to use any insane mechanics I think Nolly does have very good mechanics um, we've seen it in 3v3 sometimes he decides to use those mechanics sometimes he doesn't in a one setting he's very much more of a, a more controlled smart player Zapatos not getting that shot on target there and Nolly getting the demo before Zapatos can get the rebound off the backboard Nolly with plenty of space to work with his first touch does let him down a little bit he somehow escapes a demo from Zapatos there and gets the ball past him at the same time. Not sure how he managed to evade that. Almost getting himself a goal as well. Um, decides to go for the first time. Shot to the top shelf. It's a great shot from Nolly. It's awkward for Zapatos because Nolly shoots that ball high into the top shelf. But sort of over the top of Zapatos' head. So it's hard for him to get up directly. Because his car is already carrying that momentum forward. Um, for him to be able to get to that ball he'd have to pretty much stop. And then fly up and by the time he stopped and decided to fly up the ball's probably going to go in anyway so yeah those sort of shots there if you can tuck them behind your opponent or over the top of their head most of the time they will go in um, because the opponent just can't stop in time nolly missing a second open net in this game um, but he is going to get a demo actually on a return into part so i don't know if Zapata stopped playing for a second but he seems to get he seems to take an age to get back nolly missed the wide open net turns around gets a demo and does get himself the goal so he hasn't missed two wide open nets in this game but he has recovered by scoring goals just afterwards to be fair to him so he is 4-1 up in this game it's Nolly over halfway now and a good save good pre-flip save Zapatos' shot isn't on target but he is going to get the rebound off the inside of the post to make it 4-2 in this game but Nolly very solid so far in this 1v1 game again coming up against a player that is very good in ones and it's not over yet Zapatos here throwing some spanner in the works with a fake kickoff and that's what Nolly's got to watch out for when you're coming up against a, a ones player, that's a good save from Nolly. Does get back just about in time. And a good half flip recovery as well. And the ball is just going to sail into the open net. Nolly, with a half flip recovery out of his own net, just drives into the ball um, with that 50. Doesn't even jump. Gets a solid contact on the ball. Goes straight into the opposition net. So make it 5-2. He's winning this game pretty comfortably, honestly. And there's no luck involved. He's been very solid. And if anything, he's missed two open nets as well. Now you could say he should be 7-2 up, but... That would be a bit harsh because against Spartos because Nolly did recover and score goals just after that. So, yeah. But Nolly looking very good here, nonetheless. And definitely, for me, a player that can be considered being good in ones, twos, and threes. A minute and 45 on the clock. And Spartos missing the ball there slightly. He does come away with possession, though, and pops it over Nolly. Nolly with a good trip. A smart plays again coming out from the Gen G player. And now he's up first time with a double reset of his own. Doesn't quite connect with the second one though. Spartos cuts it down just before it gets too dangerous. Nolly here, first time uh, touch up into the air. Does fake it though. Spartos doesn't fight. 
and gets a good save. Not only just about reaching the ball, he's going to play a double off his own backboard. It's enough to take the ball away momentarily. He's only got 10 boosts to play over. So Partos maybe wasting his chance here a little bit. Nolly's going to have a little bit of time to pick up some pads. He gets two pads. Can he make this save? He's a little bit twisted on his line. He can't make the save. So Partos with a good fake there and then pops it into the top right corner of Nolly's net. So just Partos making a fight back here. Only one goal behind. Uh, Nolly just needs to calm down a little bit. Although I don't think he's made any rash decisions. That's a good solid kickoff from Nolly once again as well. And he just needs to do what he was doing throughout the game. Find those bumps, find those trips against Apartos because it's really working for him. It genuinely is really working for him. And don't miss any more open nets. <laughs> good touch there from Nolly and a good turn as well. Actually, he's caught Apartos off his line. He's going to get the third touch into the open net to make it 6-4. With only 43 seconds remaining, Apartos finding himself two goals down once again. Getting caught out of his line. Nolly... Has uh, seen those cuts there. Those cuts back in field have been very effective for him. And he is going to get the boost still as well here on this touch off the ceiling. Trying to play it to himself off the ground with the double. Doesn't quite make the connection though on the second touch. Well, after the ball pops up off the ground. Zapatos looking to move forward. But Nolly again just standing in his way. A good flick over the top of Zapatos. And Zapatos trying to bump Nolly. Ends up getting caught on Nolly's car. And Nolly just sits still and <laughs> carries Zapatos away from the ball. And the ball just floats into the open net. And uh, Nolly's bumps and trips have been so effective in this game. The trips especially, and that's a clean whiff from Zapatos. And that is going to be a forfeit from the Centio main. I think Nolly, really, really impressive. Genuinely very impressive once player. Um, he doesn't do anything crazy mechanically, and that's fine because he doesn't need to because he's very good at everywhere else. Uh, the, the brain, the sort of brainier plays, if you like, the trips, the bumps, the challenges, the cuts in field. He's very solid at that. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't liked it already, then please do so. I would really appreciate that. Please, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. If you haven't done so already, also, that would really go a long way for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all very soon.